Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Pisces. Pisces, this is your monthly messages from Spirit for August 2019. This is an intuitive read, and I will be pulling six energy oracles, and then we will be going through each one, and I'll be clarifying with the Llewellyn Tarot. All right, so let's see what messages we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Thank you, Spirit. We already have one coming out. Beautiful Pisces, Blossoming Abundance. All tied up. Man holding a coin. Healer of the Ages. Angel of Love. Cornucopia. Beautiful. All right. So let's start with the Blossoming Abundance Pisces. There's growth and expansion here for you in the month of August. All right. Um, this abundance, this could be uh, just, you know, depending on who's watching, this could mean, you know, this abundance in any different area of your life but what this tells me that there's growth and expansion here you've planted something and now it's blossoming and it's coming back to you this is like being showered with gifts from spirit beautiful energy and it is the number three spirit what is this blossoming abundance for pisces We have the Priestess and the Queen of Cups. All right. So, there's growth and expansion here. This is gifts. This is opportunities. This is blessings that are coming in. All right. Uh, the Priestess here, I feel many of you know, already are aware of this energy. And this is you having uh, inner, you know, that inner psychic energy flowing through you, you listening to your inner guidance, having a deeper wisdom and understanding about this blossoming abundance that's taking place in your situation. I feel many of you Pisces are very psychic. You have uh, clairvoyance. You have this inner knowing about what's going on in your situation. Beautiful energy here. We also have the Queen of Cups and Pisces, this is represents your energy as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is you listening to your intuition. Listening to the nudges from spirit. And moving forward. Going with the ebb and flow this month is going to be very important for you. It's going to be important that you ground yourself as well. Remember, you hold all the inner knowledge. That well of knowledge that is stored within you. And this is you tapping into this. This is you knowing that you hold the keys to the doors that you're unlocking so you can walk through them. And this blossoming abundance that's going to be showered upon you. Beautiful energy. Now we do have all tied up coming up here. For some of you, this is an energy of being stuck in your mind or your head. Spirit is telling you at this time, you have the wisdom and the knowledge to, to make it through any situation that you may come across this month. It's going to be very important for you not to get stuck in your mind, Pisces. You know, she's all tied up here, all right? Um, this can be a way of thinking. This can be you limiting uh, your yourself, okay? F a feeling of restriction, feeling bound or tied to something that's not serving your best interest or purpose here. There's a need for you to break free. Ooh, sorry about that, Pisces. What Spirit is saying is that you have, you are perfectly capable to break free from this energy. See? The Priestess again. The Seven of Cups. Okay, I see. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right. All tied up. You're, you're feeling limited. You're feeling restricted. The reason being you have the High Priestess and you have the Seven of Cups here. There's a bit of too much of a choice, I feel like, that's taking place for you. 
you have amazing opportunities and your your message from spirit right now is is that it doesn't matter what you choose don't allow this to hinder you or make you feel bound or restricted because you have too many opportunities or choices at hand because Pisces it doesn't matter what you choose you're gonna make whatever you choose you're gonna make it yours we have free will so whatever your choices or decision that needs to be made for you this month that you're gonna make you're gonna tap into this energy of the priestess she's come out twice you hold all the answers you seek within you listen to your intuition and even if there's self-doubt that does come up or pop up each, no 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 lucy luna that pop up in your situation i am so sorry my little chihuahua is having a fit no lucy um any situation or doubt that pops up always know that you need to trust your intuition you hold the answers that you seek okay and that's very important that you understand this and that you realize this and that you know that you're going to make whatever you choose you're going to make it yours pisces you're going to make it successful you're going to make it something that is of a blossoming abundance okay so don't get held back from fear or feeling all tied up that if I don't choose this, then, you know, this could happen. But what if I choose this or, or you know, you understand where I'm coming from on that? You're going to make this yours. It doesn't matter which door you walk through. You own it. Okay. Trust your intuition, Pisces. Now we have the man holding a coin. All right. So this could be you embodying this energy, whether it's your male or female. This could be somebody that's coming into your situation this month that's going to offer you some type of stability or security. This could be somebody that you've known for a long time, Spirit is saying. For others of you, this is a mother or father figure that's going to help you uh, with the financial situation. Now, for some of you, you have someone coming in that you've never met before. They're older than you, and they were meant to uh, cross paths with you, okay? It's somebody that it's a positive uh, meeting that's going to take place for you. And they're going to help you in some type of way when it comes to maybe some type of uh, financial situation. For others of you, you know, stability, stability and security is what you're after and spirit is saying get out of this mindset because you can have this blossom abundance you can have this man holding a coin energy it's yours pisces you're destined to succeed here you know this is a, a beautiful energy that's coming through right now whatever your heart's true desire is you're meant to have that all right Man holding a coin, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. King of Swords. Four of Cups. Again, we're talking about an opportunity. Right? So, this is a very powerful energy. Whether this is you embodying this energy or someone coming into your life, it's meant to be. It's meant to happen. This may be somebody that's meant to come in and be a part of your life for three days, maybe three months, three years. But it's destined. They're meant to be here, okay? There's a King of Swords energy here. This is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I do feel like this is somebody else. This is somebody that is very direct. They want justice for you, Pisces. Uh, some of you, if you're going through a lawsuit or going in front of a judge, this person is going to help you. This is a very assertive person. This is somebody that wants justice, all right? They're all about honesty, clarity, and truth. Now, this could be you embodying this energy. This is you using logic and reason to make decisions. Nothing based off emotions, okay? This could be you holding that sword of truth and clarity right there, Pisces, to cut out any situation or person that's not serving your best interests, okay? 
I feel like this is a major energy here of maybe you taking control over your situation, maybe a way of thinking. Maybe it's a decision that needs to be made and you step into this power. Or this is someone that is coming into your situation in life that's meant to help you. And if they're meant to help you on a financial, uh, in a financial area of your life too. Now the Four of Cups, this is all about an opportunity, a blessing. This is a gem here. But you're, you're really pausing and reflecting. You're going in a time of introspection because you've had offers before. And I feel like that's that Seven of Cups coming through here that had you all tied up. Because there's a bit of confusion. Because you know what's in these three cups and you don't want what's in them. Spirit is saying though, dig a little deeper because there is a, a blessing or an opportunity that's coming your way. And it's not on the surface what you think it is. Okay? So keep that in mind, Pisces. Now we have the Healer of Ages coming through here. This is a very powerful energy. A lot of signs have been getting this. Um, I believe Capricorn just had this in the same position. This tells me that, you know, you know that healing life that you have within you, that divinity, the magic that flows through you. You are capable of, you know, helping others go through healing process because you have this balance. You have a genuine heart. You love others unconditionally. Your crown chakra is open. I feel like your aura shines brightly. You light up a room. Um, you're just a blessing to be around. People really enjoy your company. And you help people. It's the healer of ages for Pisces spirit. Thank you. We have the Eight of Pentacles, and we have the Four of Pentacles. All right, so Healer of Ages. I feel that this isn't going to be for everyone, but some of you are coming out of a really challenging time when it comes to your finances. Um, there's There's been a lot of healing. There's been a, even changes when it comes to your work. You've had to switch jobs. You've had to change careers. You've even had to move to, to get a new job. And, you know, this, with the healer of the ages coming up here, I feel like that there's been a lot of healing that's had to take place within your solar plexus. Because your solar plexus is all about, and, and your uh, root chakra, this is all about your stability and your security, Pisces. And I feel that there's been a healing that's taken place, all right, with your self-confidence, all right, with that, you know, that raw energy of taking action and moving forward with what it is that you truly want. There needed, there was a healing and it, it took place for you. And it's allowing for you to move forward with this Eight of Pentacles energy. This is a mastery energy. Some of you are going back to school to get your master's degree. Uh, it could have been a very hard and difficult decision to make. Some of you are going to technical school. Some of you are... Some of you are going and getting mentorship from others. I feel some people are coming to you. You are helping others. Uh, you're a mentor for others. You're a, some of you are speakers. This tells me that you're highly skilled and knowledge in what it is that you do. That you are, you know, very disciplined. You, you're very, very diligent. You have a lot of knowledge, all right, that can help others. Here's this Four of Pentacles coming in here. When I said the root chakra, this is a healing, I feel like, about your stability, your security uh, that has taken place, especially with this clarifying the energy of the healer of the ages. And you've allowed for this healing to take place because you're ready to build something that's built to last, something that's built on a strong and firm foundation. Yes, very powerful energy right here, Pisces. You guys are working very hard. Um, this has been a, I want to say a hard 
one situation. You have put so much effort and hard work into this blossom of abundance, into this uh, growth when it comes to stability and security. And, you know, Spirit is saying you have angels all around you. You have the angel of love here. Your spirit guides want you to know that they're here with you. Uh, spirit wants you to know that. And Pisces, always remember, you're never alone. Um, you don't have to do things on your own or feel that you're alone. Even if you truly are here in this earthly world. You have spirit beings around you at all times. And you need to speak your intentions out loud. So they can hear what it is that you need. You need help with. You need healing with. You need work with. So they can uh, take it and run with it and start working behind the scenes for you. Spirit wants you to know that, Pisces. Angel of love. Page of wands. Four of cups again. This is twice this has come up. So this opportunity, all right, I'll... All right, angel of love, you need to trust your intuition. You need to trust your uh, angels, okay? Listen to your intuition. Remember, you had the high priestess come up over and over again. You have this inner knowing that you're going in the right direction, all right? And this is just further confirmation for this. You have a balance here. You have a big heart. Um your angels and your spirit guides want you to know that you are highly loved, Pisces, and that you're destined to succeed and that you are on the right path. That's what they're telling me right now. Now we have the Page of Wands. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is you having a creative vision, a fresh idea, something that you have a lot of passion and desire about, a lot of enthusiasm. There's self-confidence here for some of you. There's a message coming in here, and I do feel like it's coming in from your angels. It's coming from the spirit world about this Four of Cups energy. Now, remember me telling you a moment ago when you had it over here that you've, you've looked into these three cups here. You know what's in them, and you know you're at a, you're at a crossroads here. You need to make a decision, but you're... You're, you know, you don't want to pick this cup because you're afraid it's not going to be uh, what it is that you truly want. So just, you know, Spirit is saying, Pisces, you're being offered something here. Listen to your intuition. Listen. There is something very special that is that keeps showing up here. Spirit is offering you something. This is a gift. There may be a need for you to ground yourself. There may be a need for you to go into hermit mode and really gain some type of understanding about what's being offered to you. If you're looking at this from a, a point of view that, well, this sounds like what's, you know, exactly what's in these cups, you need to go back and re-look at this, okay? Because you did have the Seven of Cups earlier. Spirit is telling you there are things being offered to you. It doesn't matter what you pick. This could be a missed opportunity. If you have that seven of cups, you know, and spirit saying you're gonna make you're gonna make it yours. It doesn't matter what you pick, but yet you're turning down all these cups that keep coming in. You might miss something. There is a need to make a decision, and there's a need not to doubt yourself. It doesn't matter what you pick, Pisces. And I know it might sound a bit confusing because I keep saying it doesn't matter what you pick. Because you're going to make it yours, but there is something being offered to you, alright? Um, that, that's a, a blessing. I just, I feel, you know, spirit has... This a blossoming abundance that's coming in here to you. You have many opportunities. You have golden opportunities. But doubt could be holding you back. I hope I'm making sense here. Um, you know, Spirit gives me these messages. And sometimes it's confusing to me. But I'm, I'm meant to say what I'm saying. 
So you're definitely going to have to let me know, Pisces, what's going on here because I have no idea. All right? But this is something that is going to offer you something that you really want. You may not be seeing it right now. Okay? It's something that you do want. But I feel like it's uh, it's like a, a hidden gem. All right? So you need to look a little deeper into uh, an opportunity. All right? That's what Spirit's saying. All right, cornucopia, and this is abundance again. This is emotional satisfaction, cornucopia. All right, so getting this, this is like the harvest, all right, reaping the rewards. This could be something coming in in late September, October. This is, I, I'm getting re recognition, reward for effort here. This is, you know, this is a beautiful energy, Pisces. Thank you, Spirit. Nine of Wands with the Four of Wands. All right, so with Cornucopia coming up here, all the hard work you've put in, has not gone unnoticed all right pisces you have the nine of wands here this is the spirit of perseverance that is flowing through you this is the wounded warrior energy I, this is one of my favorite cards you know the nine of wands represents it may have taken you years to work up to where you're you're at now or what you're working towards but you're prepared. You have this awareness. You know what it is that you want. You are tapping and pulling upon that inner strength within you to be able to persevere. You may have even been wounded here, okay? But nothing's going to stop you from reaching your goal. And you know, I just did a reading for you, and I don't know if it was your monthly or your, your weekly, where you're destined to succeed Pisces and that's what's coming out here as well now I've got ringing that's taking place in my ears just as I said that wow Whew. don't doubt yourself Pisces keep working towards your goal because you're going to make it four of wands this is something, you know, this is about joy and peace and hope and harmony within your life. Okay, this is something that is about what you're building. You're building something that's built to last. Stability, security, that cornucopia, that emotional satisfaction. Your harvest, it's coming. A time of celebration is coming, Pisces. What a beautiful energy. All right, Pisces. I love you guys. You're definitely going to have to leave me a comment. and Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. Remember, you are destined to succeed. Listen to your intuition. All right. You are definitely in the high priestess mode in the month of August. You're a healer. Natural. All right. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, Pisces, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, Pisces.